सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन पार्ट बी इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन एंड इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन वी कैन डू दी सोल्यूशन इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स या वी गो ओके सो देर आर एज मनी एज थ्री पार्ट वी हैव टू मेक दी फ्रंट व्यू फ्रॉम एक्स दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू वॉच इट फ्रॉम ओवर हियर एंड देन क्रिएट दी एंटायर फ्रंट व्यू ओके सेकेंडली यू नीड टू मेक दी टॉप व्यू एंड देन इन फाइनल थर्ड पार्ट विच इज फॉर वन मार्क यू नीड टू प्लेस फॉर इन सर्ट एज मनी एज सिक्स डिमेंशन कैन बी डन इजली टेक अ लुक एट दिस टेक अ लुक आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑब्जर्व दिस ऑब्जेक्ट वेरी केयरफुली फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू शुड रियलाइज is that the length of the object is 96 what is this sir this is the length let me write l what is this sir this happens to be the width what width what about this dimension over here sir that's the height so we have the length width and height as 96 64 and 64 done with this we are going to create two boxes one for the front view you know very well this is 96 that's 96 and then secondly the height you know is 64 this also width we can which can be seen in the top view is again 64 done so far so good no issues what is the next step sir uh, it has been asked to create the front view when viewing from x that is from over here from over here right okay so what you basically will see i mean the best the easiest way to approach this question is to create start by creating the front view in the front view you are going to see this please observe the yellow portion that i am marking this is what you will see okay yes i know very well this is a curve over here a sort of an arc quarter circle you can say okay which has a certain amount of thickness width uh, 16 mm this is uh, but if you view it from the front this curve would look like a straight rectangle a strip okay that is 60 mm wide if you look at this this is going to be 96 by 16 if you look at this strip over here this is going to be 16 by the depth is going to be 64 so first of all we are going to mark this sort of l shape over here done so this by the way 16 that's 16 that's 96 that's 96 done okay now what the next profile that i am interested in is this take a look how much is this 8 what about the diameter of the semicircle it is 24 what about this length of the edge this is 8 what about this over here this height is 28 okay so i want all of you to have a careful look 8 24 8 and this height is 28 right where is exactly this point somewhere here okay if you watch it from over here you are watching it from the front this point will have a projection over here yeah basically so at a height of 28 let me do this yes sir this is 28 done this is 8 and then this is 24 and then this is 8 again you know very well that this is 28 done what's next this point and this point when you view it from the front they are going to overlap yes sir here and you can simply now make this inclined edge this way so the front view is almost done uh, with one hidden feature yet to be created if you watch there is this circular portion over here so we are viewing it from the front it starts here okay so if it starts over here some information has to be given in the form of it's a hidden feature so there is got to be a dashed line how far how far is this feature from to the right if you watch this is 20 plus this much how much is it so sir this happens to be 16 half of 16 is 8 to the right of center 8 to the left of center 8 here also it happens to be the radius so basically it is 20 plus 8 that is 28 so at a distance of 28 you can make this hidden feature okay with the help of a dashed line done okay so far so good 
I'll finish this in the next one or two minutes. Okay, so the front view is done. Now let's have the projectors through all of these very important points. Right? And uh, the final slide that I'll show you will have the dimensions proper. Uh, we'll have uh, the edges with solid and thick lines and the projectors with uh, very thin and light lines. You'll see that. Okay, so wait for it. Now, when you view it from the top, you are going to see this. Take a look. This portion over here at a distance of 16, this entire curve arc that you see will look like a line this way, a line. Yes, agreed. What about these lines, sir? these are going to have a length of <laughs> you need to calculate this uh, basically this is 64 take a look 64 minus 22 uh, 64 minus 2 is uh, 62 and then minus 20 will give you 42 so that's 42 42 42 42 42 and these distances well they can be referred from over here so these are all 42 42 okay i hope you got this and then you can draw this in the top view would look like uh, this so damn easy we are almost done now as far as this very portion is concerned from over here uh, what we can do is we can simply make a point at a distance of 16 and then from here again make a point at a distance of 16 let's do it and this edge this 16 and 16 how far sir this is 20 20 20 20 and then you can take the center and then make the semicircle done and dusted the only thing left is now uh, representation of these lines some of them solid thick some of them um, <laughs> thin and uh, here it is the dimensions as well that's the entire solution okay so if you can make such a drawing, I am sure that uh, you are going to get full marks for it. Okay.